if you tie it off, <laughs> the only thing that's gonna stop is if you get spooled out and if that, that happens, you're <laughs> how to properly spool a bait caster. You get your line, you could do something like this, pen or pencil. And uh, some people like to tie their uh, their line to the actual uh, spool on the uh, reel itself, but don't do that, not necessary. This is a way easier way. I just take the tape, or sometimes they'll have a tag or like a sticky thing on here. I just take that, a little bit of it, off like this and uh, I'll connect that I'll put my line through onto the spool and then I'll connect it or put the tape over the line on there you don't need to tie it off honestly I mean if you tie it off <laughs> the only thing that's gonna stop is if you get spooled out and that that happens you're you ain't catching a, a, a bass at that point but yeah once you do that you're gonna put this down and you want the line to come off uh, like that. You don't want to lay it flat and have it come out. It'll create memory in the line. It's not the way to do it. So you put this down like this and you take it and you start going through your eyelets. Like so. Pull it so there's no slack. And then just tape that right on. All right, once your line's taped up on there, just pull back. You want to add a little bit of tension to it and start reeling. Once you're done and you get to a good, uh, sorry, it's banging around, a good spot, clip it, tie your favorite lure on, and Go catch some fish, that's it.